new Cape Town City coach Jan Olderik Rinks Poop hasn't even reached the sewer pipe and he's already in hot water with the PSL DC? <laughs> Hello, football-loving World Wide Web. Happy whichever day it is when this video reaches you. Cape Town City's new coach, Jan Older Reiker Rink, will have to appear before the PSL Disciplinary Committee for failure to honor his, quote, post-match media commitments. This is when coaches refuse to subject themselves to the idiotic questions that Supersport TV has, like, did the other team win the game? Or did you lose it? The release by the PSL said the Premier Soccer League has charged Cape Town City coach Mr. Jan Older Rink with contravening the NSL compliance manual and not honoring his post match media commitments. Mr. Riker Rink failed to promptly attend the mandatory post match television interview after the ABSA Premiership fixture between Cape Town City and Baraka FC on the 5th of January 2020. He will appear in front of the PSL Disciplinary Committee next week, Wednesday, the 22nd of January, 2020. Jan Older Rink was brought in by Cape Town City to replace Benny McCarthy and his first two months in the job have been difficult. Only winning one, drawing three, losing three and growing 15 more grey hairs in the seven games in charge. Cape Town City are a team in shambles. And the last thing they need is another suspension or a fine. When I talk about another, I'm referring to Mpomakola being suspended for six months for apparently assaulting a referee. Well, that judgment was overturned, but Cape Town City still stink. Cape Town City boasts the squad of Bafana Wafana players and other internationals, but can't seem to get things right this season. I foresee a small fine from the PSL DC and a warning but nothing more than that. Anyway, is the Cape Town City coach dodging a post-game interview a big deal or not really? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Click on the like and subscribe buttons while you're at it. I'm gone.